What is up, everybody? Oh my we god. We are back on the chirp. It's your boy JP. I'm here with Seth. What's going on, dude? What who are you? I'm Left Shark. Are you? Did you come out of the, the parade today or something? I did not. I was just feeling a celebratory and I was like, you know what? Why not? Well, I'm going for it. Is it. Now, I know this is an ode to the Katy Perry halftime show yes. from a few years ago where Left Shark, he was out of sync, right? Is yes. That, okay, and now you're what's going on today? I feel like I'm out of sync all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> all, right, all right. Are you going to wear this for the whole chirp now? Well, I'm just going to wear it for the, the beginning part okay. here, and we'll, we'll we'll see if I take it off at some point. Wow. So. Oh. Stay, stay tuned. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> kids, get away. Um, all right. We want to talk a lot about a lot of stuff today. Uh, in Tampa Bay, the Bucks had their big time boat parade. Um, you know, it was <clears throat> borrowed from the Lightning, who did start yes. the, the boat parade. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people are comparing the parades uh, on Twitter right now. We got these yes. championship boat parades are the best ads for free agents. I agree. I agree. We, we talked a lot about that when the Lightning were doing it. Yep. Uh, also, low key love Tampa Bay championship boat parades as a concept. So much cooler than riding on buses. For sure. But who do you think did it better? I mean, t- come on. I mean, I mean, come, yeah, I mean, the I mean uh, there we go. There's yeah. a Stam Coast tweet from earlier. Absolute or uh, from earlier today, crushed it. And then, um, can we just talk about? Can we talk about something that people are calling the city for a second? Yeah. Let's, okay. Let's do it. Champa Bay. We started it. The Lightning started yep. it by winning the Stanley Cup. Now, some teams they're including in Champa Bay. I won't name any names. The Rays, you know, they have <laughs> they are including them in the championship. And I just want to say I've got a little issue with that, and I also have an issue with Champa Bay. Listen, I, I like the idea of Champa Bay. Yes, it's but nice. I feel that all three, four teams, really, I would be ideal win it. And then we can say Champa Bay. Oh, but you but you like the term Champa Bay. Listen, is it a little quirky? Yes. Is it a little, you know, but hey, if, if all four teams do it, I'm in. Oh, Let's go. I don't care what it sounds. Whatever. I, I disagree with the left shark. I Champ, <laughs> Champa Bay makes my skin crawl. I'm I, Listen, I'm all for something else. Give me something else. Tweet us something. But right now, yeah. Champa Bay is not working for me. Um, Who was the, um M- I think the MVP I found out of the Lightning's parade last year was Kucherov. I thought yeah. it was Maroon. Uh, a lot of, you know, but we gave it to Kucherov. Um, who do you think the MVP of the Bucks? parade today was i don't think there's much of a discussion here i mean tom brady seemed to have a good day tom brady absolutely got carried out of the parade if you haven't seen it yet you you have to see the video and um i i made a weekend at bernie's reference because i thought that it looked very tom brady looked like weekend at bernie's and jp actually watched that movie i had never did i got accused of not watching it so harsh but okay you're a young you're a young guy had no (laughs) idea so the lightning won the boat parade and we need to come up with a better name than champa bay okay well Hey, maybe you think of some names out there. But, hey, you know, last week we asked everybody a question. Did we, we did, not? We did, yes. Yeah, and I think we should uh, go through our answers first. Okay. So we wanted to know who on the Lightning would you pick to be your bodyguard? Yeah. And I asked this question to Ryan McDonough last year. He picked Chernak. Um, who are you going with? So this is so me. I'm just going to say Vassy because he saves everything. You know, I didn't even think about Vazzy, but a lot of people, uh, Vi- like Violet, a lot of people were tweeting yeah. Vazzy, and then it started really making sense. Yeah. I'm going to go with you. Y- There's Violet's tweet right there. There. And, whoa, she even called me out. Yeah. Seth told me to pick <laughs> Vazzy, a.k.a. Kitty, because he's the dark horse Kitty in this. Yeah. There we go. And she would like the chirp symbol to be a thing. I don't I don't think that we're yeah. quite it, on that level yet. But one day, hey, we can dream here. One day we will be there. I think, we do we have video of somebody on the Lightning answering this question? We do. You, you know, I think someone else pretty awesome got to ask him that question. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh who's that guy? Oh, hey. Probably Hedy because he's massive and he's he's huge and intimidating. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Hedman's a great choice. He is huge and intimidating. I think, so. <laughs> I think the choices for this are Hedman, Vazzy, I like Yanni. He's feisty. He'll go against okay. anybody. Okay. You put Maroon in there. Maybe Chernak, I think. Chernak, similar. yeah. And I think though. Shen, I mean, you could even argue. I, hey, you know I've got, I'm bringing up Shen later, okay? You're trying to bring my, <laughs> my, my, my Shen thing in here. Oh, uh, there we go. After last night, I'm even more sure that I want Chernak as a bodyguard. He would intimidate everybody, maybe me. That is true. We know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Pat Maroon. That's very hey. aggressive right there. Boom with the crown. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is from Taylor and we got I think he gets a tweet in every single week. This is the uh, uh old wrestling tag team here, the Legion of Doom. Yeah. There we go. Chernak Maroon. Maroon looks so weird with no facial hair. I know. It's it's 
almost weird. Can these scene. guys? Can we get them the shoulder pads to just wear out for uh, the warm ups every single night? Yeah. I, mean, I don't. I want these guys to be down with being the tag team of uh, you know defense for us. I, I'm I'm down with that okay. for sure. Uh, but obviously a really exciting week for us overall. I, I mean, mean, I don't think we, I don't think we lost, did we? We did not lose. We didn't lose, and we scored a lot of goals. Obviously, I predicted ten goals against Detroit. Fell just short. You predicted a shutout from McElhaney. We were very close. We were very, very close. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we were very look, close. Look at this. Wow. Where did I didn't Whew. see our bird this week? Did the bird? Did our bird a mascot appear? Chirpy flew away. Chirpy's gone. Chirpy's gone. Oh, well, then- oh, oh Chirpy. Hey. We, oh. we can't do this without you, buddy. Okay, so, yeah, we won this week all the games. It doesn't yep. matter who we're playing. We're in the division. The NHL made this, okay? We, we beat who we play. That's right. But you pick out, you are the, you're the highlight man of the week. I am, and we have some glorious goals here to go through. We, we exploded against Detroit, I mean, quite frankly. I mean, Hedman scores that first one. Absolute beauty. He speeds in there. I mean... This was the last week we were here. This was last Wednesday. This was right after we did the show last time, and they took... No time scoring. They were just like, let's get in the game. Let's go. And then here we go. We have Hedman passing off. Shen gets a shot up. But then Sorelli buries it. I mean, and this is, by the way, there's like no time in between these this goals. These happen so fast. Three goals in five minutes. Yeah. I mean, it was, you blinked, you missed it. And I was in the building and I went upstairs with you guys because you guys work yeah. while this is all happening. And I'm just a fanboy who stays in the building <laughs> longer than I should. And I'm cheering as all this is happening. And everybody that's working is just staring at me, maintaining a very professional well, outlook on everything. How can you not get excited with a shot like this from McDonough, though? I mean. Well, I know. Ugh. I was excited, but I was the only uh, one. And well, then, we were all excited. We're dancing in our hearts here. You know, we just got to be like, you know, score and all that. Well, <laughs> I, was, I was dancing with my feet. So <laughs> we, we, I don't know what. Like Vazzy has never lost to Detroit, right? That's still intact. I isn't that a stat? Wow, that's. Ooh, I know, think that mind. might be a stat. Gonna, well, zero credibility. If we're wrong, we're wrong. So I mean. <laughs> there, here it looks like a tweet. The Bolts are just showing off out there in this period. Everyone's getting a chance to snipe with plenty of room. Detroit with a ton of defensive slips, and the Lightning are taking. Quite advantage. That's what the that's what the Lightning always do against yeah. Detroit. They're just relentless out there. I mean, they're just going ham. Uh, if we have our next highlight ready, we do. Oh, we're getting the nods. Let's go. Okay. Oh, this is a beauty here. Okay, so shenanigans at the end of the game. I literally named this clip shenanigans. We don't see it here, but McElhaney literally knocked that off the line. It's, clock is running out. Nashville just trying to get anything going. And then after this save, we're going to get the puck and Stamkos. I mean, he's not going to miss an empty mm. net. I mean, that's just net. not going to happen. Boom. Iced. Done. That's it. See but it all started with McElhinney. That just all from, started, yeah. Just from my prediction of the week that he should have had a shutout. I mean, they, they got one by him. He was so close. I feel like that's kind of been the storyline for the Lightning. Just so close to getting that shutout, but falling like just short. It is nice to see, though, McElhinney hadn't played in a year and then comes in and only gives him 11 one. months. Yeah. yeah. That's a long time. Like, I don't think I could even ride a bike after not doing it for 11 months, let alone play goal. I would like to take off work for 11 months, and I would like to see how I am when I come back here. So yeah. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> uh, really impressed with tonight showing i didn't expect a win what honest and despite the natural reaction of the third we did well mackinley looked great sam coast throwing hands really looked yeah. good nice effort so you predicted shutout they didn't think we were gonna win obviously we got the dub that, i mean that is cr- i don't every single game the lightning play i expect them to win and it's been that <laughs> way is that wrong i mean i i that's that's kind of the way it is so i mean yeah. even when mackinley's out there i expect them to win without yeah. kucherov without stam coast i mean that that's the kind of team they put together yeah they are definitely a solid you know team and obviously they are capable of winning i mean a lot of games i don't know about every game but you know here you know a bold prediction there they're good well you know not not for this week but i you know my i did i think earlier in the year i predict i predicted yeah 56 and 0 and <laughs> yeah, lost did. a yeah. couple of games so far now do we have, uh, we have some sort of a birthday treat yes birthday goal joseph ended up getting two we're going to show you his first one here i mean surichev how good has he been this year finding really? The backdoor pass, I think that's like the lightning specialty. I mean, they just find that open person on the back, Joseph, streaking in. Beautiful. Look how excited they are for him there. Maddie Joe really, really playing well. I mean, absolutely turning into a stud right before yeah. our very eyes. I think I was saying earlier today, I think he's been one of the most improved lightning players this year. Just He's been looking so fast and so good at shooting, too. So <laughs> this Good Lord Almighty, Matthew <laughs> Joseph just clobbered him with the steel chair. I love a good wrestling reference. <laughs> I actually read that wrong earlier, and I thought that person was saying, clobber me with the metal chair. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, Matthew Joseph to Nashville. Matthew Joseph redemption tour. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, he's been great. I mean, he's looked really solid out there. Bailey saying, I love, love, love 
love the fact that Matthew Joseph is having a nice season so far. I think we agree with that sentiment. That's 100%. the thing that you know you talk about. Hey, you know maybe guys that the Lightning lose, or you talk about guys getting older on teams, but you never talk about hey, can these guys develop more? And look yeah. at the way Matthew Joseph is developing, and who knows how great this team can be? You know if he takes yeah. it up the next level like he has so far this season. Yeah, I know he was really hungry too. Like he was obviously disappointed he didn't play in the final last season, and he was. I think he came back even hungrier for it. So so are we doing our? Uh, is it time for our predictions of the week now? It is time to look at our predictions of the week. It is. Do you want to go first? I think I do. I do. I'm waiting for Chirpy, though. Oh, you got to wait for Chirpy. Oh, Oh, you hear that? It little chirps. (laughs) It's almost cute. My zero credit. So here's the thing. I'll just be honest with you guys. Our predictions are getting a little too close to, to coming true. Yeah. And we can't have any credibility here. That destroys the whole essence of the show. So we have to take our predictions to the next level. That's uh, what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Wow. Sorry, I just took it up to the next that's level. That's what I'm taking it up to the next level. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. He's getting the shot. Here is my my uh, prediction of the week, my zero credibility prediction of the week. Luke Shen, number wow. one star in the NHL. Wow. Number one star in the NHL. You're welcome, everybody. You heard it here first. Okay, and, and my prediction is the Lightning are not only going to get their first shorthanded goal of the season, they're going to get two this week. Well, who mm. scored? Who scored in the shorties? Sorelli is definitely getting one. Okay. And I think Gord's getting the other. Wow. If that happens, I'm insane. Just yeah, like. and if that happens, really, nothing happens. We'll just end up playing the audio <laughs> clip back and we'll That's just say, right. Jeremiah's the man. Now, if my <laughs> thing happens, I think we got to talk about a raise or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's Luke fair. Luke Shen, number one star. And I convinced you to change your, your guy there, didn't I? I? I influenced it, let's say. I don't want to say who I had. You know, I had a, I had a fan favorite in there, and I took him out because I, I believe in Luke Shen. We yeah. were reminiscing about Luke Shen playing in the Stanley Cup yeah. final last year, and I, I had to put him as my number one guy this week. So That's right. Look out. We're playing Florida hey, a ton of times. That's so. right. Big test for us this week. I think it's going to be probably the biggest test for us. You so. think so? I think so. I think Florida is probably one of the, the best teams in our division here. So. Well, there you go. Florida la, 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 says next three games. <laughs> Games against the Panthers could separate the boys from the men. Hey, there you please, go. Please stay healthy. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I mean, you know, let's say worst case scenario, the Bolts lost all the games to the Panthers, which will not happen. That's, I don't think it's over for them, and I don't think that they're boys just because that happens. No, yeah, no, I don't think so either. But I think it'll be a good test, like I mentioned. Jay Bell saying your defending champs are off to a fabulous start. Six wins in a row, nine one one on the season, doing it without Kucherov. I mean, that's something that I feel like hasn't been discussed a whole lot. I mean, this is a team without Akita Kucherov. I think about it all the time. I think about what happens when Kuch comes back, who goes to the second line. There's a, there's a lot of things that I think yeah. about. But and, and the reports that we've heard about Kucherov, you know, from Stamkos is that he looks yeah, 10 he, times better than they thought, you know, he yeah. would be. So we're, we're holding out hope. Everything's been a good sign for Kucherov so far. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like you mentioned. So, a uh, puck in four days saying the Gold Bolts PP is so delightful to watch. Stamkos has 10 more games against Nashville and Detroit this year. He must fancy 35 goals. I think I, 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 I think said so. he's going to have his best year, but I don't know how you can have your best year when you're playing, I don't know, like 25 fewer games. Yeah. But either way, I think it's going to happen. Stamkos looks unbelievable. And you said you get nervous every time Stamkos falls or gets hit. So do I. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure everybody watching does too. Obviously, we're just really hoping everybody stays healthy here. So. I, Oh, I like that tweet that was just up there. It said that the Lightning are the greatest hockey team of all time. I mean, how can you not say yes to that? Devon, oh, never mind. Lexi's saying Stamco's making up for lost goals from last season. That's right. I mean, listen, nobody wanted to be in more than him and just see him scoring this many. Well, you know, in any sport, you talk to guys before the year, they go, I'm the best shape of my life. This is the best I've ever felt. And that's what Stammer said. And he's actually showing it out there on the ice. Yeah, for sure. Six game winning streak. We're doing it, Ethan. Yeah. Are we getting to another? Our favorite time of the show. Is it our favorite? I'll tell you what. The boys showed out this week, especially yeah. in their support of the Buccaneers. It is time for our TBL Chirp Chirp fashion. <laughs> you like that? I don't know if he always. I don't know if Chirpy always makes a noise when he's no, flying away. I, but I was trying it, to be Chirpy. <laughs> it always is so great to see him. Uh, there, Stammer. Is that Stammer in the mask? That is Stammer in the mask. I mean, Stammer makes that Tom Brady jersey look good. He, yeah. I mean, he makes it look so good. Love him or hate him, Stamkos is wearing it and looking good who, doing it. Who are we hating? Well, you know, we're not hating Stammer or Brady. No, no. Oh, I mean, okay. I know, I know. There's people with different opinions. If so. you hate Stammer, just stop watching immediately. Well, yeah, no, nobody should hate Stammer. It's not the show yeah, for you. No way, no well, way. Where are they, by the way? Are they at the arena, or I could not figure out where they were. I think they're traveling to Nashville, so they're probably wherever they're boarding the plane. At. Okay, that'd be my guess. 
Good call. Yeah, you're so smart. That's why you're on the show. Okay. Yeah. So, hey. <laughs> there you go. So this, every, the guys were wearing all Buccaneer stuff. Yeah. Here's Kalorn. I think this is probably one of the Detroit games. Obviously, they're coming in the building looking great. I mean, what do you He's, call that? What do you call that right there? A little well, square? A little, what, pocket like a little, square? Po- little handkerchief? Yeah. A little pocket square deal? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, thing, that that costs more than my whole wardrobe. Probably. Yeah, wearing same, right now. yeah. Can we just – I think we're going to have to cancel Killer from this segment. We know that he's a, a <laughs> stallion. We know that he is an influencer. I mean, he outed everybody when the Buccaneer, when they were wearing the Buccaneer stuff. He wore the helmet yeah. and the Cam Bray jersey. I yeah. mean, Alex Kalorn is on another level with Hetty. So That's right, yeah. Props to you, Killer. Just an absolute just stud. Just legend. Yeah. And here's Yanni Gore making his first there fashion appearance. My bodyguard. Yanni, now what's in the cup, Yanni? Can we tell? Has he got a Starbucks going on there? Uh, you know, it could be. It is a Yeti, a so y- it could keep stuff warm for sure. Or cold, right? Or cold. D- I don't, yeah. Yanni, what are you drinking before the game? We must find out, though. If, what are, if you get him on the block party, you got to ask. I got to say, though, that beige tan little number, that's working for you, yeah, Yanni. A little three-piece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people would say that color is a little boring. And maybe not even in season. I would never say that. I don't even know about <laughs> seasonal colors. But I think you look great, Yanni. And I think it's great. <laughs> that's why you are my personal bodyguard, Yanni. <laughs> Do we have, um, I think that concludes our fashion segment, <laughs> thankfully. I think everybody looked great, though, supporting the Buccaneers this week. We, yes. I talked to Cal Foot. Um, he was a Broncos fan. And I asked him when he got, he, he wore a Buck shirt. And he said he got it on the side of the road before they left for the road trip, before the Super Bowl. So Good for him. I mean, <laughs> not everybody had their Buccaneer stuff lying around. So we got our question of the week. We do, and I. You want me to ask you? Go here? ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I love this one. We want to know. I mean, this is a great question, and in fact, we had a long discussion on who we think it is as well. Who do you think the Lightning's biggest rival is? But why? So- some pe- and we're asking this because we play Florida three times this week, yep. and a lot of people, I don't know, back in the day, maybe it's just Panthers fans, I think it's just Panthers fans, think that this is a rivalry. I never thought that. I, I believe our rivals right now, even though we're not in the division with them, are Boston and Washington. Yeah. And I think I can make a case for either. Uh, but I don't – is is Florida in the mix? Should they be? Am I forgetting about another team? I just don't feel like the Lightning and the Panthers have played enough in the playoffs to really – you know, cement that rivalry. Well, that's like, the Panthers' fault, right? I mean, well, <laughs> on, guys, oh. good, but I mean, it's true. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I think you know, and I don't know how the playoffs are going to work this season necessarily, but if we could see that happen and where we play each other in the playoffs, which. I think could make more of a rivalry happen, but I agree with you. I think Boston, Washington, for sure. But, you know, we've always played Florida so much. I think there used to be a Governor's Cup. There used to be something that they would (laughs) give to the winner of the season series, and I don't know who canceled that, or maybe we've moved on to bigger and better things, but I just don't know if the Panthers are our number one rival anymore. But please, hashtag Go Bolts, hashtag The Chirp. Let us know what you're thinking, and we'll answer those questions for you next week. Yeah, that's right. I think we had a great show today. Left Shark, thank you so much yeah, for joining us. Anytime. And this will be available uh, all over the place, right? Are we going to have this on YouTube yep, after? Yep, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be on Twitter if you want to watch it again. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And next week, we'll see you back here on The Chirp. Be here, please. Red, ready all night. Tell them you're right now. Red, ready all night. Tell them you're right now. Red, ready all night. Push the limit.